photographs are not just these are not just these dead you know pieces of paper they you know evoke um, a sense of you know spirituality of how we connect um, not only with each other but how I think also what makes it different to let's say photographing like wildlife photography like you know if you had to photograph a lion or whatever but mm -hmm. a human being and how you capture what it is that makes us different from is really it's about capturing a sense of soul right it's that the photograph has a soul almost yeah. has this way of seeing beyond beyond the visible and that means that his images are charged with a kind of dreamlike quality that transforms the reality the banal the everyday If you read the interview that he'd done in Chase and Shadows, and um, you, you, it reveals who he was because that is so genuinely him, you know. And um, so, of course, um, he was a thinking photographer, and many people describe him as that. Mm. And when you read through his essays, very brief, very concise, he doesn't write. He didn't write long essays, you know. But he got to the point very quickly. Mm. And somehow, when you look at the photographs that he's about to capture, that um, where this essay precedes, you know, this uh, um, preempting these, these photographs, mm. you actually can see his thinking as he's capturing these photographs. Partly that ability, that gift, to look at stories that are overlooked and then stories that in a great narrative are distorted or reducing to spectacle, but he has a way of storing a sense of dignity to those who are down for that. He has a way of restoring a sense of beauty in the way that you look at them. He also has a way of uh, restoring grace as well. when the very story of South Africa was told through photography. How the world got to know about apartheid was these guys going into these war zones, literally, right? And take, and risking their lives and taking photographs and showing the world. So our story is hand in hand with photography. Why do we not have a museum?